right, Victorum Gaming fans, we're back with another video. We got some more Pike and Shot today. We're um, working on multiple projects. Um, so we're working on an Imperial Army, but uh, we're also, uh, just because uh, we love this period here, uh, working on a Landsknecht starter army. And uh, as, as usual, Warlord does a amazing job with their starter armies. You get so much uh, bang for your buck on these. So um, Pike and Shot roughly covers 1,500 to 1,700. Um, this dips a little bit earlier, but um, not a big deal. Um, and again, you get just so much in these. So uh, you get 96 uh, plastic pikemen with some command options, 24 of the Zweihander, basically two-handed swordsmen, 24 uh, ranged units, so um, crossbows or arquebus, uh, four metal officers and uh, what's called a metal handbuchse, uh, basically a light gun with crew. Excuse me. Um, they also give you a f uh, full-color flag sheet, which... Um, tip on that is to basically go uh, to like a copy store uh, set get like 11 by 17 and basically um, first make a copy and then double it up and basically you can print multiple sheets on one sheet and just you know, match the the paper quality that they gave you um, and then you get plastic bases for everything so uh, we'll be back in just a second after we crack this uh, monster box open all right, we got the lid off, and um, as you can see, there's really not much uh, in the way of wasted space. So you get a cool little booklet with some history and background of the Lens Connect. Um, there's definitely a lot more you can read about these guys online, which I would recommend. A um, little bit of modeling guide there. Um, there's more in the rule book and supplements and stuff. Really cool flag sheets. So like I was saying, uh, it's worth making an extra copy or two of this, setting it up on like an 11 by 17 or something larger, and then you basically just can make like double the double the flags and banners and stuff for every sheet that you copy so really cool stuff um then a little bit more history and stuff on the back here all right and then the rest is all kinds of plastic and metal goodness here so we got two blisters so basically we get the officers um so you get those guys there um we get our little artillery piece here the hunt books it basically just a kind of like a large rifle really more than a cannon um and the base there so that covers the metal bits there um they give you some uh, MDF bases, but really we're gonna do something different with those. Um, but I guess neat that they include those. And then just tons and tons of plastic sprue. So let's kind of dive right in. So first up, we get kind of some command sprues here. So we can kind of tell that from there. So uh, basically we get five sprues of that stuff uh, at least. Um, but yeah, so commands. Uh, let's kind of see if we can't get a whole bunch out at once here. Uh, we'll leave the bases in there though. Can't spend too much time on those, but basically they're stuffed at the bottom. So here we get basically these are looks like our Zweihander or two-handed sword sprues. So again, for the the fact that everything's basically in plastic except for your like metal officers and stuff like that is just fantastic. And we've already assembled a bunch of these two from separate uh, boxes. So um, really cool kit. Um, everything goes together well. So, but let's see, we got that, that, and that, yeah, so basically we get four sprues of that, gets us our, um, so basically six guys on a sprue there for our 24 two-handers, and then four more sprues of our ranged guys, so again, we get options there for crossbows and arquebuses, so we're probably just going to do that kind of in half there, we might double check on the the army list itself just to see what's better, but um, it's nice to have a mix of that. So we're going to put those back kind of the way we had it, roughly, just so we can close the lid again until we actually start building on this. And then basically the entire left side of this is sprue after sprue after sprue of uh, the pikemen. So we don't need to get them all out, but we'll take a look at one of them here for you. So again, six per sprue um, and just really cool stuff there and get some accessories and stuff like that, which I think we'll put on the swords there too, just to have that authentic uh, Lanskenecht sword. Uh, even an extra sort of gun arm there, but um, really lots and lots of pikemen is gonna be the way to go here. So really cool stuff. Um, and yeah, so that is the Lanskenecht starter. We've actually already got um, a whole bunch of this together, which we'll have to feature in another video, but um, I think we actually already have, uh, this is a little bit, uh, about 150-ish guys. I think we already have about that much assembled. So um, that is our first little artillery piece, though. But um, really cool army, really cool time period too. The Italian Wars are um, a fun, a fun period, and sort of learning about the rise and sort of then decline stuff of like the Swiss pikemen and uh, the Lanskenechts and all that and what happened to them. Uh, really cool stuff. So, but um, 
we'll definitely be at this as far as assembly goes for a little bit. Um, but uh, we'll definitely have more content for the Lance Knights and Pike and Shot in general. So um, we'll probably do like a little army on parade kind of thing once we get it all together. And then uh, we'll look forward to actually getting some battle reports and stuff out for you guys. And um, uh, probably um, got some planning to do as far as like what we're going to paint these guys at. But um, we'll, we'll talk about that in another video too. But uh, anyway, that is the Lance Knight starter army. So again, all these big starter armies that Warlord puts out for, well, really any of their games, but especially. Um, uh, anything Pike and Shots, uh, Black Powder, um, Hail Caesar, these giant jumbo starters are just really awesome. So they run you a little bit over a hundred bucks, but again, you're you're getting so much bang for your buck with these. So um, well worth considering. Great game, not too hard to learn either. Um, uh, you got uh, basically the main book, and then there's several like campaign books and stuff like that too. So, um, so we're working on Lens Knights, but we're also working on a, again a 30 Years Army, 30 Years War Army for, uh, for the uh, basically Holy Roman Empire. Um, so lots of lots and lots of stuff to work on for this game and others. So um, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give us a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and then stay tuned for more Pike and Shot content. And hope you guys have a nice day.